<laughs> well, this is what you could say. America would not be the same were it not for Alexander Hamilton and Cher. And that is absolutely and arguably true. Cher is power. Oh, man. Everything. The four-letter word. I remember him talking about how she had two different sides where she was just a sweet, vulnerable, loving, caring woman, and then the other side, she was like a drill sergeant. And when it was time to perform, it was time to perform. We know these songs as solo songs. We know this woman as a solo act, principally. What would it be like if that became duos and trios? What would it be like if, in the way, instead of talking to yourself silently, the way, the, way, the way we all do when we're getting dressed in the morning, what if you could actually dramatize that, those conversations and portray them on stage? We all do this, right? We have a dialogue with ourselves. I'm a 40-something sitting here trying to appear professional, but I'm also a 16-year-old going, I'm doing the Cher show. All of our, our, our uh, moments with Cher are these little like 15-minute cameos that, that really encompass all of their relationship in that short, short amount of time. So it's really fun to kind of go zero to 100. You know, the, it, yes, maybe there would be no share without Sunny. I mean, she's so talented and so amazing that she may have found her way anyway, but uh, I think, you know, it's, it would be irresponsible to, to think of, to, to not credit him uh, with pushing that forward, you know, the, what he's done, what he did to, you know, to make them a, the America's sweetheart couple. Uh, she once said, there, I, without Bob, I would be a peacock with no feathers. So she understands that she's a peacock. He didn't make her that, but he gave her permission to really own all of it. And that is a beautiful thing for us to be able to show the world. Well, you have to have strength to go on that many years and, and keep it consistent and keep your act together and, and be, be that famous. It's not easy.